in this part we are going to see uh, the exercise question answers and uh, programs so now we start with the tick the correct op option which among the following is not a valid valid error in java that is technical errors then which among the following scanner methods allow us to input a number with a decimal point so next float off the next one is the output in blue j occurs in which window terminal window the input in blue j occurs in which window terminal window assigning values to a variable during the declaration is called initialization which among the following is used to represent single line command that is double backslash which among the following is a logical error addition is required but subtraction is performed the next one is which among the following represent a syntax error missing semicolon if the data is uh, data that is to take part in a calculation in a method is fixed which form of input is necessary initialization next one is in case you need to give a proper message that is the prompt, prompt string before taking an input from the user which would be the most preferable method that is scanner input next filling the blanks the break statement is used to avoid fall through the next one is the next of dot character of function the scanner class is used to accept a character from the user the next one is the loop within another loop is called nested loops the relational or comparison operator is used to compare two quantities fifth one the else block is preceded by the if block then sixth one the sqrt a function of the math class is used to return the square root of a number then seventh one the return type of cbrt of function is double that is cube root of function is double eighth one the continue jump statement is used to skip the remaining statements in a loop the ninth one single line command and multi line commands are two types of commands in java then 10 the error in a grammar of the english uh, grammar of the language is a syntax error next state true or false scanner class is present in java lang dot lang package false math abs of is used to find the absolute value of a number true the return type of math dot square uh, sqrt function is float false it is double the fraction 1 upon 2 will execute to 0.5 false it is zero the continue statement in a switch block is used to avoid fall through false the default statement is essential in a switch block false the for loop is an entry control loop true the while loop and exit control loop false the do while loop is generally used when the number of iterations is known false you can have one of the only the for loop as the nested loops false now we are going to see the question answers section a answer the following questions name the functions in the scanner that is used to first one is to accept a number of long data type that is next dot next long of second one accept a group of alphabets next line of what is a bug what is debugging bug means error okay debugging means to remove the errors okay and an error in a program is called as a bug and the process of removing it is called debugging what are the different types of errors that may occur in a java program syntax error logical error and runtime error the next is what are syntax error give two examples Uh, a syntax error is an error in the syntax of a sequence of characters or tokens that is intended to be written in a particular program examples mismatched braces in classes and methods wrongly accessing variable whose visibility doesn't exceed third one you write any two okay two examples they asked here three are here so you write any from the three you have to write any two what are runtime errors give two examples 
answer an error that occurs during the execution of a program is called runtime error example dividing by an integer by 0 accessing an element that is out of bounds of an array third one is trying to store a value which is incompatible to a certain data type the next one is what are commands name different types of commands in used in java a command in a program readable explanation or a notation of, in the source code of a computer uh, program types single line command and multi line command what are conditional statements with which commands do you implement conditional statement in java conditional constructs are specific statements that allow us to check a condition and execute certain part, uh, certain parts of a code depending on whether the condition is true or false implementation is done using if if else if else if um, if else if else switch case and ternary operators what are braces optional when uh, when are braces optional or necessary in conditional statement answer so giving braces is optional for if else in case there is only one statement is to be executed what is the difference between what is the difference between scanner class uh, function next stop and next line of okay to accept a character we use next stop and to accept the string we use next line of next stop can read the input only uh, till the space it cannot read two words separated by space also next stop place is the cursor in the same line after reading the input next line of reads input including the space between the words what are relational operators the relational operator allows you to test or define some kind of relation between two entities state the difference between equal and double equal in java equal is the assignment operator and double equal is the comparison operator what are logical operators explain each okay they already have we explained all these answers so you have to write state the difference between while and do while loop the while loop is an entry control loop whereas the do while loop is an exit control loop state the difference between the entry control loop and exit control loop the answer is there give the general syntax of while loop how do you create infinite loops using a while loop structure so this is the answer so you have to learn then give the general syntax of do while loop how do so it is repeating i think so then next question is comparing loop according to its usage so you have to compare all the loops for loop while loop and do while loop okay the next one is uh, what uh, what are nested loop the loop within another loop is called as a nested loop and you have to write an example then uh, the output of that example is there then name two jump statement that is uh, and their use jump statements in java break and continue okay then you have to write the use of break statement and the continue statement the next one is what is the difference between break and continue statements when they occur in a loop so write the answer state the similarity of uh, and one difference between while and for loop which is a very important question Analyze the following program segment and determine how many times the loop will be executed showing the working. The loop will execute as long as the given condition is true. What is an exception? An expect exception is a runtime error that occurs in a program. Then give the output and determine how many times the loop will execute. So the steps are here for this program. Next give the output of the following segment so these are the segments um, the here opn equal to b first one opn equal to x opn equal to option equal to a okay if the option is b it will return object oriented see object oriented if the option is x um, x means it is a uh, 
uh, wrong input there is no x option here the next one is option a so it is platform independent so if the op first option is b so object oriented when the option okay okay the option b is object oriented after the op option b there is no break statement so the option c also will execute so it is robust and uh, uh, secure okay uh, then uh, here also there is no break statement so the wrong input also will be displayed here if there is no break between the uh, cases then all the cases will execute okay then the second option is option x there is no option option x so it will print the default that is wrong input uh, third one is option a so option a play platform independent okay next one give the convert the following if else condition to switch cases so this is if else so we are going to write case one it is good break is two better than break case three best then break default uh, invalid okay students now next write the following uh, rewrite the following using ternary operator uh, ternary operator means it uh, consisting of two three operands so this is by using if else statement so when you write the if else statement by using a ternary operator it is like this discount equal to bill greater than the condition is bill greater than 10,000 uh, means if the condition is true means if this is this calculation we have to do if the condition is false that is else means after colon the statement is here it is to be executed question number uh, 28 rewrite the following program segment using the if else statement so here the question is in ternary operator you have to change it in the if else statement okay rewrite the following is in ternary operator here it is in the if else form so you should write the answer in the ternary operator okay so convert the following segment into an equivalent do loop uh, do while loop so this is the by using for loop so you have to change it by using do while loop the next one is convert the following while loop corresponding to for loop the program given program segment is in the while loop so you have to convert it into the for loop convert the following do while loop into for loop okay the next one is what will be the output of the following code uh, in the m equal to 2 n equal to 15 for i is equal to so we are going to print the value of m and n m equal to system dot out dot print ln of m and uh, system dot out dot print ln of n so what is the initial value of m m it is 2 so m plus plus here here it is minus minus n so what you have to do is uh, we are going to print the value of m and we are going to print the value of n so uh, m will increment the value by 1 after execution okay after execution it will increment the value by 1 so m is equal to 3 and n is equal to minus minus n so it is also reducing a value by 1 that is 14 the next question is analyze the program segment and answer the following questions okay how many times the loop will execute the inner loop will execute three times if there are two loops are there the inner loop will execute first when the condition will become false then the outer loop will execute so what is the output write the output of the programming segment so what is the output win okay the output is win Oh my gosh.
next question number 42 what are the final values stored in the variables so these for writing all this you have to learn the mathematical functions then you have to uh, try to solve it okay then rewrite the following using ternary operators repeatedly it is coming next one is study the method and you have to answer the programming segment is there then you have to answer the given questions next what are the values of a and b after the following function is executed if the values pass start 30 and 50 so you have to calculate the answers uh, you have to do the calculation and write the answer write the following code segment by using while loop and you have to write the output analyze the given program segment and answer the following questions write the output then how many times the loop will execute here also the same thing you have to do okay students now so give the output of the following all the mathematical functions are here and the output also here here also the mathematical expression and the corresponding java expression the answer is also there so here we are going to stop this part and the next programming part we will see in the next part of this chapter